Hey guys, welcome to Blind with Ellie and happy Tutorial Tuesday. It is somewhere around 8 o'clock and I just got home from work. Um, on Tuesdays I work from 8 to 8. It's very exhausting. I'm very tired. Yesterday I had a lot of things to do around the house. Um, I had to like really deep clean because I hadn't done it for like about a week and a half or so and I was just starting to feel gross. I hate, you know that feeling when you know your house is dirty and you're like, oh, it makes me feel gross too. Well, that's how I felt yesterday. So I was doing a lot of deep cleaning yesterday and then I cooked, so that took a little bit of time. And basically by the time I was done, it was somewhere around nine o'clock p.m. And I just, I felt so tired to film and not energetic at all, so I was like, let me re-energize and let me film after I get home from work so I apologize this video is going up late but I'm sure you guys are used to it by now because I tend to do this a lot so I'm really really sorry but um, let's go ahead and get started we're gonna be doing a tutorial today we're gonna be doing two tutorials and if you guys remember I did some uh, dashboards on my uh, on my channel that I showed you guys and I told you guys I was gonna show you guys how to do each one so we already did this lace pocket one, but today we're gonna be doing both of these. So this is like a folder that you open up and the pocket is on the top. So we're gonna be doing a tutorial on this and then we're gonna be doing a tutorial on a double-sided pocket. So as you can see, the pocket is in the front, but it's connected both ways. And then there's a pocket on the side right here so that it gives you space to decorate here. You can put sticky notes, whatever you want to do to it. Um, so we're going to show you how to do both of these today. Let me go check on my dog because I think he's being very naughty right now somewhere in the kitchen. <laughs> Sorry about that. He was trying to get the chocolate chip cookies. He's being a bad boy over there. But okay, so you're going to need two different types of paper and they are going to have to be double sided. I definitely recommend that they are double sided because you're going to have you know, um, the design on both sides, and you want it to look pretty, so you're gonna do both. So I have both of these. These are from the Planner Society. These are probably the only two I have left from this kit, so I figure why not just make a folder out of them, and then maybe eventually I will use them. Because you don't have to use these as dashboards. You can just use them and throw them into your traveler's notebook. Um, and basically just use it for more storage, more pocket storage. But if you want to use them as dashboards, then you can do that as well. So, hopefully I remember how to make these <laughs> just by looking at them. I'm pretty sure I remember. But I have a bad habit of not writing instructions down and not writing measurements down. So, let's go ahead <laughs> and do this. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, let's do this one first because it's a lot easier. This is the um, folder with the flap and the pocket on the side in the inside and as you can see the flap is a little bit smaller and I did that on purpose because you can put some really cute pom-pom trim and it'll look so cute and then decorate it with like um, ephemera die cuts or whatever but yes all right so the first thing you're gonna need is a template you guys know I always go by my templates and since I already have my measurements pre-sized, uh, pre I'm going to go ahead and jot it down. Just going to move this a little bit closer to me so that I can see. So as you can see, so this is 5 inches, 5 and a half. It's two lines below the 5 and a half. Sorry, I don't know my measurements. And then you're going to do the same thing to the opposite side. just like that so we're gonna go ahead and cut this top piece off because we don't need it because our dashboard is gonna be cut down to size so let's go ahead and measure that out and I'm just using my paper trimmer this one is by Fiskars all right so we don't need this piece but you can hang on to it don't throw it away because you can make a really nice page marker with this you can do a lot of different things with it, so don't throw it away. All right, so just by looking at this, the next thing we have to do is Okay, now I know which way I did it. So, we have 
a booklet. I don't know why I'm measuring it. I don't need to measure that. So you're going to leave a little space because what happens is when you close the paper or when you fold it, it tends to shrink down. So leave a little bit of space, just eyeball it, and then you're going to take it, bring it over, just like that. All right. And with your bone folder, you're just going to go ahead and make your crease. And this is your pocket side. So this is where your little um, scrap comes into place. So you're gonna take that. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be down to size. And you guys know what I do on this side. I just take a good amount because I'm gonna fold it to seal my pocket. And this is cut perfectly, so now all we have to do is adhere it. Right, and I'm just going to add a little bit more to the edge right here so that it doesn't come off. Ooh, that is so sticky. Alright, and then we're going to put it on the edge right here. Now you need to do another one for the bottom piece, so use that same scrap, right? So you need to do another one for the bottom. This is my lazy way of not measuring, guys. You're going to do the same thing, fold. And the reason you're doing this is obviously to close your pockets so that once you put your stuff inside, nothing falls off or falls out of it. Add some adhesive. Sorry if my table is shaking. And then we're gonna go ahead and add it. Just like that. And then we're gonna close it. And I, I always like to layer the adhesive just so that both of those flaps stay nice and tucked together. All right, so now you're gonna go ahead and take your pocket and you're gonna fold it in just like that. This is very easy, such an easy tutorial and I'm sure that once you guys know how to do this, you're gonna be doing it for all of your um, TNs and again you just have to work with the template with the planner size of your choice alright so there you have your pocket and look at how good that is you can fit a lot of stuff in there a lot of paper um, you can even add like little extra die cut stuff like that so now all you have to do is fold this inward Just like that. Okay, so you can leave it like that if you want to, or you can cut it down. I'm gonna cut it down just because I like the look of it. And like I said, then you can put, um, you can add some pom-pom trim. So I'm just gonna measure out to the line. I'm not gonna do anything specific. And there you have it. So this is your first dashboard. I mean, look at how easy that was. So cute. I would decorate these, but I'm not using them at the moment, so I don't want to waste my um, die cuts or anything like that or my pom-pom trim. But I would definitely add some pom-pom trim right there just so it looks a lot cuter when you open it. Um, and then I would probably even put like um, alpha letters, maybe spell out planner girl or something like that. That would look so cute. 
I would probably put like sticky notes and then put like some little like a little note word on top. You can even add um, a clear packet from the Target dollar spot on this side. You can do a lot of things, but there you have it, your first um, packet dashboard. And that's what it looks like. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and do the next one. And that's this one right here, which is the folder. So if I can remember, I'm trying to remember the way I did this one. Oh, okay, I know how I'm gonna do it now. So I'm gonna take my paper, I'm gonna do the same type of measurements, except I'm not gonna cut this part off this time because I'm gonna use that for my folder. Okay, so this time what I have to do is I actually have to score it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my scoreboard. Just going to quickly open it. I'm going to put it on the edge. And I'm gonna score. So now you're gonna take this and you can do whatever side. I'm gonna use this scallop side as my pocket. Right? So now that you have that, what you have to do is you're gonna take this. And you're gonna do the same thing. Just measure and fold. Okay, so now what you're gonna do that this one different. All right. Well, I know I have to cut this part off for sure. Alright, so what I did is I unfolded the packet and I cut off the little square that was right here. So then you're going to fold your packet and then you're going to fold this packet right here. Now, <laughs> it did fall on the opposite side, but it's okay. I'm okay with that. It was supposed to end up on this side. But, now that we have that, no problem. The one thing you can do is, like I did, I'm, I just cut it. Right, just cut it to make it smaller. And then what we have to do is we have to seal this bottom and then this top. This one's a lot of sealing, but it's okay. I don't know, when I do stuff, when I get ideas, I just go for it, and then I forget that I have to show you guys. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit off. And then we're gonna glue. And then we're gonna add the other one to the other side.
All right, so now we're gonna close our pocket. So this one's a little, there we go. Right, so there you have your pocket and now we have to seal these two right here you can just use the same paper that you had I'm just trying to measure it make sure it's the same size And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. See, so this stuff right here, it doesn't really need to be measured. So don't worry about it. It saves you time from measuring. I like when I don't have to measure. Just makes crafting life easier. And then you're gonna seal the other end of your pocket. And you don't have to worry about sealing the middle because it'll stay closed by itself. So there you have it guys. There is your double sided pocket. I love it. I think it's so cute. And again, it's just, it's really fun to do. And you can customize it to whichever way. As you can see, my pocket was on this side and my pocket ended up on the opposite side, but it's okay. If you have extra paper, you can always do another pocket on this side. Um, and then basically you have your second, your two pockets right here. So it's one on this side, one on this side, and that is basically how you do a double pocket dashboard. I don't know what I'm gonna name this video. I'm gonna have such a hard time, but that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed both of these tutorials, and I hope they inspired you to create your own. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave it in the comments down below for me, and I always respond. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.